Okay, let's talk camper vanning. Uh, 2011 Toyota Sienna. Uh, nothing unusual on the outside. Uh, my wife and I use this for camper vanning. Uh, thanks to some stuff on the inside I wanted to show you, uh, give you some ideas maybe. Uh, so here's what we've done. Okay, so what we've got is a sleeping platform on top of uh, a large cooler. Underneath is a, a big Pelican 50-quart uh, cooler. Uh, lots of extra space underneath. I'll go into a little more detail in a moment. Uh, up on top, we've got overhead storage compartments on each side with uh, the bungee cord. So we get, what we use is packing cubes to keep all our clothes uh, organized and stuffed up into the cubbies up here. And it actually uh, takes a lot of, uh, or provides a lot of space for all our stuff. Uh, up high, I've got two crossbars and some cords where we store the window shades. Uh, these are uh, a weather shield product. Um, window shades for every single window, they just kind of pop into place. Uh, I've got two sides, they're reversible. One's silver side for reflecting heat. The other side's a black uh, surface for absorbing heat. Uh, let's see what else we got. Uh, the cabinets up high are mounted on uprights that are bolted to the frame below the sleeping platform each side. Uh, there were no holes drilled to build any of this into the van. It's all self-supported and clamped onto hard points on the floor of the van. Uh, in the back we have reading lamps for each side on dimmers. Same on this side, uh, hooks, and what else? Yeah, that's it for back here. Okay, let's open up the side door. All right, in here, uh, okay, we've got a sink, fresh water and wastewater built into the cabinet below, uh, just using a uh, real typical marine faucet and pump the water and underneath there's just a little <clears throat> one gallon drain container that's uh, strapped down also for fresh water six gallon uh, tank behind or underneath the countertop uh, cabinet is handy for cleaning supplies paper supplies stuff like that little uh, toilet paper roll holder. We like to use a luggable loo for uh, midnight uh, peas and whatever. And that uh, comes in very handy. Let's see, over here, uh, got a little control for uh, lighting. We have under cabinet lighting on both sides. Uh, let's see if you can see it. LED strip lights also underneath the uh, vanity uh, crossbar and that's on a dimmer, a little dimmer control here. Uh, up here USB outlets, I don't know if you can see that. There you go, with a voltage readout uh, for the auxiliary battery and 12 volt cigarette lighter type of uh, power port. So inside the sleeping platform's got three sections. Uh, they all uh, pivot or are removable. I'll show you uh, the footboard here. Um, got the footboard removable so that I can take it out and leave everything else behind and remount the second row seats in the van to use when I need it. Okay, so uh, there's a, a buckle here, an old ski boot buckle. 
on each side. And this just pops out like that. Uh, <clears throat> this slides in. This support pivots out of the way. This support sl slides in. And the bottom of this has retractable legs like that. And also it can be used as a table outside the van with pop-up legs like this. Uh, if that's handy. So I also have this store away inside under the middle platform. So this this lifts up and hook it there. And this just goes into here. Like that. And this comes down. So there's room for the, the seats to go back in. The vanity is modular, so that can come out separately. Uh, when I need to. In back, uh, let's see, this, uh, this is the headboard. We sleep with our uh, heads to the back of the van. Um, so this <coughs> pivots up uh, with a prop right there. Uh, I've got a Pelican cooler, 50 quart, <coughs> that uh, can lock up like that. A little sideboard for putting stuff on. Uh, if we don't need it, uh, this latches up out of the way. Uh, a lot of room down here for uh, other belongings, cooking, um, stuff like that, food. Over on the uh, driver's side, take a look behind the vanity. Alright, so you can see six gallon fresh water with a hose uh, fitting on the top, just coming around to the underside of the, the faucet. And then the sink drain is simply a large tube down into the uh, waste, uh, waste jug, and that's held in place by this strap. So all of the cabinetry and all the wood, um, it's clamped onto hard points on the van. So underneath, I used basically hose clamps. There's uh, four, two on each side, that clamp around uh, metal, uh, I don't know what you call them, uh, but I'll call them crossbars underneath that the third row seats clamp onto. They look a little bit like these uh, these for the second row, but they're hard mounted to the floor. So there's uh, two clamps on each side. And then the only other spot where it connects to the chassis of the van is, oh, I do, I do have two uh, hose clamps down here that, for the vanity. And then up here, you can see, hopefully, uh, I've... I'm clamping onto the grab handle. So this whole structure is quite rigid and it doesn't move at all. I thought I'd spend a minute to talk about the uh, the mattress and the sleeping environment. Uh, th this mattress, uh, I don't know how well you can see it. So it's a four inch thick firm foam trifold mattress. It's full size. It's 53 inches wide. Uh, the space I have wall to wall is 52 inches wide, so the extra inch of compression, um, the mattress just kind of forces itself into the side walls and, and those uprights, and it doesn't move around at all, uh, which is good, but then it also makes it hard to remove when I, when I, I need to do that. Uh, but it's quite comfortable. Um, I'm 170, my wife's 120. Uh, we are both very comfortable on this mattress. Compared to uh, last year, we had uh, a nine inch thick futon mattress, which was not as comfortable as this four inch foam mattress. So this was just uh, a good find on Amazon. Uh, it's also 73 inches long, 
Uh, so it's plenty long for us. Uh, and so, again, that's worked out really well. Um, one of the things that works out for us as well is just this whole approach of using a minivan for a uh, camper van. Um, it's super stealth. We can park it and have parked it just about anywhere. Uh, we can just park, uh, climb into the back, put the window shades in place, and go to sleep. Uh, sometimes we'll crack the window open. Um, if it's warm, we can, we've got fans we can uh, run. And uh, we've never been bothered any place we've we've tried, and uh, works out really well. We we also like when we travel. We like to go to uh, visit cities, and sometimes we're using parking garages. So the the height of the minivan is ideal for that. Uh, the larger cargo vans um, and RVs just uh, we'd have to uh, we just have a few more restrictions. Uh, on the way we travel if we if we had those but uh, I guess I'll leave it there uh, feel free to comment uh, ask questions I'll respond the best I can hope this was useful the idea here was I, I've benefited from other people's uh, minivan camper van whatever conversions and so uh, I'm hoping this is useful for some of you Enjoy.